Hey up, people of Custom Fitness. Uh, Dave here. How you doing? Hope you have a good week. Um, I can't be asked to write this week on me, uh, my old chimp thing, like uh, I said I was going to do. So I'll do a video instead, because I'm not great at writing. It drives me mad. I can't get stuff down quick enough. So, I want to talk today about um, what I've done at the weekend. Okay, uh, on Saturday, I went down uh, down south to do the Judgment Day obstacle course race run. All right, it's twelve kilo, uh, if only twelve kilometer run, uh, based down in um, Borden, Hampshire, where the army do all their tank training. Um, I didn't go around telling loads of people that I was going to do this one purely on the fact that uh, I wanted to do this one just for me, really. Um, a lot of OCRs, when I've got loads of you lot joining in, um, I tend to focus more on making sure everyone else gets around and everyone else is alright, as opposed to uh, just blitzing it out the run myself, just for myself. So, um, yeah, I did that, and I loved it. I proper loved it. I smashed it. I was really, really, really... Um, Strong for me, I you know I did all the monkey bars, the rope climbs. Yes, I'm amazing, but yeah, I did it all, and uh, I felt really strong at the end. There was plenty left in the tank. Um, so, and the other advantage was obviously go down there. I could see my family, which is wicked too. Um, so, I just want to go through like why I did it, the training that I did, just so you lot can understand that um, you don't need to be doing twice a day training or um, occlusion training, which is where someone else has seen recently or anything like that. It's just looking at uh, the smaller details and missing the bigger picture. Okay. So, um, yeah, and the other reason I did it, to be fair, is in next month, I'll, it is posted around. We're talking about it with people on the gym floor. Dirty Dozen. Um, it's there, London South, and I'm doing the six and the twelve in one day. For me, that's a big challenge because I hate running and I'm shit at it, and I ain't built for it. Okay, I'm built to lift shit. I know that. So that's part of why it's a good challenge for me. Um, all right. So my training to this point after I entered. Okay. Now, business wise, I'm manic. Okay, so I could only manage three sessions a week all right so first of all you know thinking about you lot who come to the gym and do a lot of classes you train a lot more than me okay a lot more than me and probably for a longer duration as well if I get more than a 45 minute session that's long for me okay and my training consisted of one run and two weight sessions okay and um the weight sessions were split upper body, lower body, in nice and simple for me. Okay, so my running, I didn't run more than uh, five kilometers in any of my runs. But what I did do when I ran, um, for those who know, I run down Greystone Steps on Lindham Hill, and then I run up Lindham Hill uh, around the loop. It's about 600 meters, okay, when I've GPS it with my watch. Uh, I started off four laps. Absolutely broke me. Okay, um, if you want to, like, you know, speak to Katie. She saw me trying to walk up the stairs in her house. Oh, I was pathetic. Okay, uh, but I built it up. I got up to six k, and then I uh, six laps. Sorry, and then I did a six lap, and then I started putting um, a bit of a flat loop on the end, just to get a little bit more distance, because I wasn't sure whether I was running enough. Okay, the difference being I didn't pootle, I thrashed myself. Okay, I was absolutely broken every time I finished the run. Um, my heart rate, you know, I, I could go on and pull off all the data. My heart rate was bloody high. Okay, um, and run no more than half an hour, maybe a little bit more. Okay, my gym sessions, uh, upper body, lower body, basic principles on both. Big compound lifts and pull-ups, um, chest press, shoulder press, rows, squat deadlift, walking lunges, good mornings. I think that was it. Okay, but again, um, I lifted heavy, 
a strip of a rest time, use the stopwatch, or certainly for the big compound lifts, I use my push band. Um, wicked bit of kit, so I have mentioned it a few times. Um, basically, it monitors how fast the you do the movement, uh, and there's research that shows you know if you're not lifting heavy enough, you lift the bar quicker. So therefore, you being a pussy. So I just load, you know, it's a good direct feedback for me whether I'm lifting heavy, whether I'm tired or whatever. Anyway, I used that and I did then think, right, what a judgment they likely to put in. All right, monkey bars are no brainer, grip stuff. So I used a bit of the old uh, grey matter and I thought, right, well, I've got all my fat grips out, grip fears, fat grip extremes. Um, and so the upper body workouts and the fat bar, I got, think what it really is, I sort of thought about what I was going to do and how I was going to do it and then I stuck at it, I recorded everything that I did, um, so I made sure that each week I bettered myself, so I lifted more weight, I added load, I tried to uh, do maybe an extra rep on some of the other stuff that I'm not so good at. And in the end, I managed to, uh, you know, I'm never going to be a world record holder in this and stuff, but I was really pleased with my performance at the run. Uh, so, if you want to train for something, you need to be clear about what it is you're doing. And we've done blog posts, um, like the links, I'll stick some links below about various blogs that we've done on like what you want, goal setting, I stick something in about push band as well. And fundamentally, be clear on what you want. And then, if you want us to help you, we can. But at the same time, it ain't free. Um, but that's going off on a tangent now. But just be clear you don't have to do loads and loads and loads of training to do something. As well as training hard, you need to train smart. Okay, and that's where I have that advantage um, because it's my industry, because I've spent the last 15 years learning and trialing and error and stuff. You know, just like, you know, I couldn't go build a house tomorrow, uh, you know, although, you know, I couldn't, but I don't have the skill set, you know. So, likewise, if you want some help, just come and ask us. Okay? Um, have a good week and depending on how this goes I might do it again I might not Laters